Hello friends, this is Brain from GameBrain.media, and we are going to look at the game Spin Tires, because I'm a off-road nerd, and that was the first off-road, the really good off-road game I've ever played. Um, I had Monster Truck Madness and Monster Truck Madness 2 back in the day. Since then, I've had a multitude of Monster Truck games, but that's not anything like Spin Tires, Mud Runner, and Snow Runner. So, if you're not familiar with these three games, I've done comparisons. You can find playlists on my channel in YouTube. Hey, let's look at my channel in YouTube. Let's see. Yeah, open it in a new tab. Here we are. So, you can see here, you go to Game Brain. Well, you go to YouTube and you search for GameBrain.media. You'll, you'll find me, I, I guarantee. Uh, then you go to Playlists. And in Playlists, um, I have multiple playlists. And here they are. Fishing Planet, 100 Call of the Wild, Hitman, Ghost Recon, MX, uh, Motocross stuff. Um, and here it is, Mud Runner. So there are hmm, a handful of videos here for Mud Runner. And let's go back to here. Oh, here, here's a handful of videos from Spin Tires back in the day. Uh, yeah, I run this game a lot, man. And uh, let's see, do I have a Snow Runner playlist? Anyway, I was just trying to find out. Uh, let's see, if I go to the search. Yep. You know, it's a typical stream for me already. Total clusterfuck. But, uh, ah, yes. This is what I was going for. I may not have a Spin Tires playlist. Uh, I'm sorry, Snow Runner play playlist, but I have done videos comparing Spin Tires to Mud Runner to Snow Runner in the past. So we're not going to really recap that. You can find that. <laughs> I mean, here it is, part one, part two, on my website. Spin Tires versus Mud Runner versus Snow Snow Runner, and yeah, kind of guess what? It's a bit of a cluster. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, random association, right? When I, I start thinking of something, then I I go off on small tangents. Okay, maybe they're large tangents, uh, but whatever, Tiffany. All right, here's one just specifically on SnowRunner, how to use mods, mod maps and trucks. Um, free we land, yabba dabba do. All right, so that's enough of that crap. What we're going to do today is talk about Spin tires. You can get the game for two dollars and twenty-nine cents. Ridiculously low, low risk, right? You can click buy now and use your credit card. You can click PayPal and two dollars and twenty-nine cents, bro. It's so cheap, you won't believe it. So then you get the game in Steam. Yay! When you have the game in Steam, I highly recommend that you launch the game and see if it works with the stock material initially. Guess what? It will. Um, eh, I guess I should back up one little step here. If you're going to buy the game on Spin Tires, you're going to get, notice down here, um, where my where my mouse is, right right below the, the, the Spin Tires image, it says platform is for Steam. So they will email you, after you purchase this, they will email you a unique numerical sequence, a CD key. Get it? CD key. Back in the day when video games used to be delivered on compact discs, CDs. Um, so then what you do is you take that code they give you from your email and you bounce into Steam. And you go up here to games and you say activate a product on Steam. And it says to register your product and add it to your Steam library, enter the product code distributed with a retail CD, DVD, yabba dabba doo. Then you click next. It tells you, yeah, okay, you got to agree to their terms of service. And then you paste in, let's see, I'm not going to paste anything here because, yeah. The keys look like, you know, they, and they show you A, B, C, D, E, F, G, a bunch of numbers, yabba dabba doos. And uh, here you go. Now, if I put in the product code and then I click next, it'll say, congratulations, the game's been successfully added to your Steam library. And then you go and you download it. And that puts you here. And this is a bone stock. I've just ripped spin tires out of my computer in every facet. I cannot get spin tire mod to work. And I can't get, uh, well, I, I, I can get reshade to work, but the game looks pretty damn good as is. Um, I did get my steering wheel to work, 
but for the purposes of this demonstration, I just want to get you familiar with. Here you go. You go in the game. You hit settings. I like to turn the game sound level down so because I'm talking in a stream. Most people won't need to do that. So then I turn off the uh, HUD for screenshots that I post to Steam because I don't want the HUD showing. Oh, by the way, if you press F3 while you're in the game, the HUD magically disappears in your live game. And to me, that's fantastic. However, sometimes you need to gear down and you need to be able to see the HUD. So you need to you need to know that pressing F3 to go on and off. But if you're just rolling <laughs> F3, no mods, the game is an absolute uh, scenic wonderland. All right, so with that being said, I usually like to turn up the brightness just a smidgen. So like one click and same thing with contrast. <laughs> yeah, there it is. They're about equal. All right, then, so I, I don't want to show the HUD on screenshots. I don't want this in-game advertising, which is a picture in the lower right-hand corner, so we can kill that. And then I don't need um, VSync to s limit me to 60 FPS. Um, but I have a wicked fast computer. I'm going to set everything to high. Um, all right, I've set everything here to high. And I have set... Anastropic filtering even to 16. Nine times out of ten, I will run that at eight. But this is an old game. It'll run a weak-ass PC, and that's why I'm giving you an introduction to spin tires to see if you want to <laughs> upgrade your PC so that you can play Motor Runner, Snow Runner in the future. Anyway, that's enough of that. We're gonna apply those settings. We're gonna look at controls. We're gonna go to my wheel. I'm gonna enable my wheel. I'm going to eh, I'm gonna take a drink of beer first. Okay, you notice up here, the accelerate, it goes from red, oh, half throttle, half throttle, oh, there's half throttle, there's full throttle, there's quarter throttle, there's three quarter throttle, yeah. Okay, so I'm using my um, my foot on uh, Logitech G27 steering wheel and gas pedal set, or pedal set. Now, brakes, brakes don't work, so I need to click that, and then I press... And now my brakes, you can see, I can go quarter brake, half brake, three quarter brake, full brake. Um, brake accelerate, I don't want combined pedals. That's something when you have a different um, steering wheel, and I don't want combined pedals. Turn wheel, oops, okay, it's showing you, right? I, I'm steering left, I'm steering right, I'm steering left, I'm steering right. So my wheel works fine. Change gears, um, I like to set that to a particular button that's already in use that they've automatically assigned. I don't like that as assignment, so I ain't going to follow their rules. And now I'm going to remap my buttons to what I like. Like I said, some of them are already in use, but this is my pattern, my habit um, that I use in a multitude of other racing games. And now I'm going to go with my camera buttons. Yes. Yes. The hood cam. Yes. Orbital cam mode. Ah, yes. Okay, I found that one too. And I think we're good to go. Apply. But otherwise, uh, if you have a gamepad, you go here and you hit your Xbox 360 controller. And you can map things to whatever you like. Or you can use keyboard and mouse, which is where I played the game for a very long time. Just straight up keyboard and mouse. WSAD, just like playing a first person shooter. And then you use your mouse to look around. You use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out on the camera and. It works really, really well. Except, um, when, when you're using a keyboard, gas is either on or off. I mean, it's really hard to press your W key one quarter of the distance because it's, e it's either on or off uh, when you're using a keyboard. So that that's that's a difficult part. Um, I've got friends who use uh, Xbox 360, and they can pull that right trigger for the accelerate, and they can pull that brake... Yeah. A quarter turn, a half turn, or a quarter quarter press, half press, three quarter press. But, you know, I'm so used to running skill saws, nail guns, and um, screw guns that it's either on or off. And yeah, zip, zip, zip. You get, you get in the habit of like zip, 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 or me, me, me when you're drilling or when you're sawing or when you're, well, a nail gun's either going to go pop, pop or not. Um, so, but, but you know what I mean? If you're a game padder, good for you. I'm not. But I love my wheel. 
All right, so I'm going to click Apply. Then we're going to look at Play. Now, when we're in Play and we click the map that was just there in the upper left, it shows us all the maps that are installed for the game. This, um, actually, Coast, Flood, The Hill, Volcano, The River, and Plains are all stock maps that came with the game. I've added this thing that says Level Underscore Plans Extreme. And I'll show you that later. But first, we're going to run Plains. Uh, it's just one of us, the stock maps. I could have selected any of them. In fact, let's just go to the coast. And then, if you just hit... Okay, uh, now here's another distinction. Up at the top of the screen, you're going to see single player or multiplayer. When you click one of these, it gets grayed out. I think this should be the opposite, man. If that's the active button, it, it's the one that should be lit up. Or change color. I mean, it, it, it sometimes is a really shitty user interface. In fact, it's 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 a pretty shitty user interface. However, they've changed it over the years. Blah blah blah. Um, down here, also, okay. So hardcore is dimmed out, but that's what's currently active. If we were to launch this, we'd be playing on hardcore, which is the default. And it says that your damaged truck will refuse to steer. You can't rescue to the garage. So I don't want to play hardcore, man. I want to play casual. Okay. If I hover on casual, it tells me that we can rescue to an unlocked garage. Diff lock doesn't damage the truck. If you if you turn on diff lock while you're rolling uh, in real life, um, that will, you know, for older mechanisms, uh, damage them. Uh, newer, uh, newer diff locks, I think, might have uh, uh, apply on the fly capability, but I'm not sure. Haven't had a modern vehicle like that in a long time. Um, all right, so fuel consumption is lower than in hardcore. And, whoops, you can skip time, and navigation route is visible in the game. So when you're playing on you know, casual, it's substantially different than playing on hardcore. Uh, just so you know. And, you know, single player, multiplayer. Okay, so now we're in the multiplayer lobby. If you notice, it, it, to me, it looks like, oh, single player's lit up. I'm in single player. No, this game is backwards. Russians think backwards, apparently. Um, so anyway, here we are. If I just launched it, I would get the stock trucks and might as well. Uh, okay, start a new game on coast. Ding, ding, ding. Here we are. There's a ton of crap on the screen. Uh, that that will help you play the game. It's what they call help. Um, so how to play? Use the mini map. Press F1, and you'll get to see the map. Okay. So here we go. F1. You can zoom in and zoom out with your mouse wheel. You can uh, uh, right click on the map and then you know smooth it around. Um, you notice that there's big black circles. That's areas that we haven't that haven't been unlocked or we haven't traveled to those areas thus far in the game therefore they're dimmed out they're black blacked out we don't our, our map even though you know there's helicopters and shit that have mapped this in this world <laughs> for us we don't know what's over there we've never been there so we can't um, see what's what's li what lies ahead for us anyway um, so press f1 again and you're back to the screen here you go uh, mouse wheel out mouse wheel in left click and rotate Actually, I guess I don't even have to. Yeah, I do. I have to left click to activate the rotate and then left click. And now I can move my mouse without anything happening, anything moving. All right. So anyway, read these things. They're very useful. Um, and then I would uh, start engine. Um, I guess if I hit escape, then oops. Yeah, it took me all the way back to Windows. But I wanted to hit escape just to make the help screens disappear. Now, I'm on this truck, and apparently I can carry a trunk on the roof. And the trunk carries 200 repair points. If you're going to play this game uh, as it's intended, um, you're going to be traveling. You're going you're to be taking a big truck. Like, uh, let's go to um, V for advanced, change truck. And then click this big boy. Okay. Now that guy, I can do fifth wheel coupling. Unavailable. Flatbed. Unavailable. Because I have the utility box installed. If I get rid of that, 
Okay, it's warning me that uh, the fuel I was carrying in in that um, thing is is gone. So, <sighs> Spin Tires is really intended to be a logging game, and you have these old, like really old trucks that are still in service um, in, at, in 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 different logging camps around the world. And this one has snow chains on it, right on the tires. It's got dual tires with snow chains, um, and it's your job is to drive out and either carry fuel to a broken down truck or a truck that ran out of gas and it's hauling logs and then sometimes you have to switch into I think jump into the logging truck and then drive it to the lumber yard where they offload your lumber or they lo offload your tree trunks your like the timber okay then the sawmill turns that timber into lumber timber is a whole round log lumber is milled tree trunks <laughs> that is in dimensional 2x4s, 2x6, 4x8s, whatever. Um, I haven't really played the logging game, so maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Tell you the truth. Totally honest, that's me. Alright, so I just want to show you that you know, uh, you, you can install the flatbed. Oops, that's flatbed trailer. I don't want that. Garage tools cart. I don't want that. I don't want any trailers. Um, there you go. That's the flatbed I was looking for. Okay, and I can't run the flatbed. I can't install the fifth wheel coupling until I remove the flatbed. So I remove the fifth wheel coupling. I can install the flatbed. Remove the flatbed, and I can install the utility box. So there's all kinds of things like that that modders have used to build a modern day Jeep a modern day Ford F-350 and you get to install roll bars, uh, light bars, uh, a big bumper with an exposed winch and a bunch of cool stuff in, 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 in custom made mods for the game. So, all right, I'm going to go back to press V for advanced on your keyboard, change truck. I'm going to jump back into the little truck because uh, it just goes faster. All right, so... All right, I'm going to turn off my parking brake. I'm going to turn on all-wheel drive. I'm going to haul balls into the woods. Look at this little guy go. Now, I got a bunch of shit on my roof, so it's a little tipsy-turvy or tipsy-toppy. You notice how it's uh, heavy-weighted? What do you call it? Top-heavy? Wow, wow, wow. Dated a couple of girls who were top-heavy. All right. Now we got some solid dirt. Notice how much faster we're going. Uh oh, mud puddle. Alright. So I think you get I think you get it here, right? Um, now you can also, like when you get stuck like this, you can see I'm in all-wheel drive right now. What I can do is oops, I can I can hit the gear shifter over here in the bottom left hand corner. Boom, see that big uh, stick shift pop up when I click it with my mouse? And I can go down here, and this middle one, it's really silly that they didn't, you know, tell you this is high, this is, uh, uh, this is automatic, this is high gear, this is low gear one, low gear two, low gear three, and then down here is reverse. But guess what? There's more! You got low one, or reverse one, reverse two, and reverse three. So if I hit reverse two, then I step on the gas. I'm going backwards. What the hell? Okay, so you click that, and then you go up here. And I like to run in low three because that allows you to turn on the diff locks. If you notice in the left hand, bottom left hand corner, lower left hand corner, my diff lock is red. Now it's white because I'm in low gear, and I can then shift into low and, and use the lower um, gears in the uh, transmission gearbox. So, interesting. Where does this go? Oh, it just goes back around to the, uh... Well, who knows where this goes. Now, this truck pretty much sucks. It's super slow, it's super top-heavy, and this trail just drove us off into the middle of nowhere. So, I'm going to have to back her up, Jack. Alright, so now... Let's let's bail out of here and go back to the main menu. It's going to tell me that I can I, I can continue this game later. 
but yeah, I want to exit to the main menu. Now if I click play, um, we were just last on coast, and you see the little 3.5 uh, floppy disk, it, it's showing us that we have a saved game there. So if I click it, um, it's going to launch the exact same game if I click continue. However, I don't want to play the same game, I want to select custom trucks. Now, to before we jump into here, I'm going to have to jump out and go to Steam and show you that you can go to Steam and you're running spin tires over here and uh, normally you wouldn't be doing this while you're in the game but I'm just taking a pause to give you guys a, a tour okay go to the um, sorry go to the Steam Workshop when you're on the spin tires page go to Workshop and now we are in the Steam Workshop now you can just go up here. I'm a big Suzuki Samurai fan, so if I type in Suzuki, it's going to show me. Here, here's a whole bunch of Suzukis that are in the game that I could download. And I already have these. Well, I don't have that one from CD Racer. I got this one. This is a Suzuki Sidekick. And I actually like this uh, little rig. It's got four different varieties of rims. You can see that there's a button here, the green button. You check that button, and you will subscribe to this mod. Most people release a mod, and that's it. It's done. They're done. Uh, some people release the mod, and then other people report, hey, the winch doesn't work, the tires do this, or the rims turn inside out or god it, there's so many weird variations so they might make a change but if you're subscribed it will push out and, and the creator pushes up or uploads a new version to steam if you're subscribed your machine will automatically download the newest version that's what the subscribe thing is all about if you're not into suzuki's or you only want a sidekick There is a Suzuki sidekick. I noticed there was also a Vitara. Oops. Oh, there's three different varieties of Vitaras. Okay. And if you're a Ford guy, bam. I'm a Ford guy. I got a Ford F-350. Oh, man. A Ford Galaxy? If it had big tires, that'd be freaking awesome. Guess what? Dukes of Hazard is here. I wonder if we put in Dukes. Nope. Um, Hazard. Well, Hazard is actually a creator, so we might get a interesting mix. What do they call that? The uh, General Lee. And huh? Well, I can't find that. Maybe, maybe. Oh God, it had a Confederate flag on the roof. I bet Steam removed it because they're um, uh, Dukes of Hazard. Because they're PC. Oh, well. You, you get what I'm saying, right? If you're a Chevy guy, bam, type in Chevy. If you want to go wheeling, this is. I don't play the game as it's intended, because um, I just like going wheeling. And, oh my god, my buddy Dale had an old... Uh, I have to subscribe to that. He had an old Chevy like that. Two-door long bed. But his was like the ugliest color green on the planet. It was a two-wheel drive. He bought a front axle and transfer case and tranny and all that crap. And he made a four-wheel drive. He lifted it. and He got the mechanical stuff done. But the body was still this ugly frickin' green. The interior was uh, an ugly matching green color. And it just... it just I, 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 I don't even know. I don't, I don't know what happened to that truck. I think he sold that, and, you know, one project rolls into another. His first project was his 1967 GTO. Um, he built a motor, dumped it in, ran it around town. It was faster than hell. It broke down every 15 minutes because the engine had too much power for the tranny. Then he finally got a new tranny, and then the body just started, it was rusting because he was, he had to park it outside because, you know, he lived with his mom and uh, four sisters or some <laughs> uh, stuff like that. Life work, life, life happens, right? All right. Also, if you go to the workshop, I'm going to tell you that uh, you can also search for a specific creator. Okay. So if I put in spun, spun uh, makes some fantastic rigs. You can see this. Here's Jeeps. All, all this crap is by spun. So spun oh, and Nix. Um, Nix is referencing spun in his description, and that's why this is showing up that he used um, 
uh, templates from spun. Um, so if we go up here and we click one of these spun rigs, we will find spun's name. Here we go. Subscribe. Here we go. Spun. Okay, created by Spun. He's offline. If you click his name, though, you can see in the side in the workshop he has 63 items. So you can track down a favored creator in the Steam Workshop, and this is even more important when you get to Mud Runner. Okay, here's a distinction: Spin Tires lets you you can install the game, and you can go to Steam Workshop and get custom trucks. However, you have to manually install maps. So, I, I know I just threw a whole bunch at you. If you've never seen spin tires before, here's, here's, here's a quick rundown, right? You buy the game, you install it, you run it stock, then you exit the game, you go to the Steam Workshop, you find a couple of trucks, just get one or two Jeeps, get a Jeep, get a Ford, get a Suzuki, whatever turns your, whatever floats your boat. Um, in time, you're going to find a favorite creator, and you might want to go get everything ever made by Spun because he makes some cool shit, right? You can have a Jeep XJ, you can have a Jeep Jeep, uh, you can have a, Land a Toyota 4Runner, um, you can have an old Chevy, right? So, you can have an old Jeep Kaiser. Um, so, that's, okay, then, then you get your custom trucks, and that's where we're going next in this little tirade, or this series let's see we're gonna go back into spin tires and I already have a whole bunch of trucks downloaded now this particular map only supports two different vehicles so I'm gonna grab those two and instead of clicking continue if I click continue it's gonna throw me back in there with that stupid little green top heavy Jeep and the flatbed or the cargo box um, or canvas canvas top um, cargo flatbed trailer those are stock trucks for the game so I don't want to continue I want to start a new game and I also want to make sure that I'm playing on casual which is dimmed out and I'm gonna hit start a new game and says oh hey your current game progress will be lost now that's important if you're gonna play the logging game because if you've already cleared three or four sections on the map and you've delivered loads you, in that case, you would want to continue the game, probably. But for me, I'm switching over from showing you just a bare-bones install to a custom truck four-wheeling um, install. So, start a new game. Current game progress will be lost. Yeah, okay, I know. Ta-da! And here we are. To learn how to play spin tires, um, do some stuff. Okay, add a generator. Add jerry cans. Add more jerry cans. Um, add a spare tire. No. Um, samurai bumper. Yes. Change wheels. Okay, so I can put on these general grabbers with red letters, or I can put on the default tires with, with your black wall with fancy rims. So I'm going to go with the bead locks and the red letters on this truck. Then I'm going to press V for advanced, and I'm going to change truck. Select the Suzuki over here. And, you know, you're, you're going to learn that the camera's kind of wonky sometimes, and you're going to learn to use your zoom in, zoom out with uh, the mouse wheel. Okay, I hope it didn't make anybody seasick just now, but here we are. So, we don't want the spare wheel we saw. Oh, we haven't seen that yet. All right, I'll go ahead and install it because it looks kind of... Oh, oh, no, uh, my mistake. Uh, a different truck, it looks kind of weenie, but uh, so there you are. We don't want to have a trailer. We don't want to have a utility trailer or a fuel trailer. And do we want to run big tires? Eh, no, because we have a small tire. Let me see. Now if I... No. The, uh, see, the, the spare tire doesn't match what we're running. So I'm going to go to default tires just so everything matches. We are looking good in the neighborhood. All right, so now what I want to do is uh, start the engine. Uh, turn off the parking brake. Throw an all-wheel drive. And boogie. Now, you can already tell this thing's tearing it up a lot better than that little top-heavy um, utility Jeep they gave us. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing, right? Go to the same place. Oh, crap. Now, that other one, I had to go into low gear so I could turn on diff locks and get through this mud. This rig is pretty much eating it up. And if you're familiar with four-wheeling, you know that if you turn your front wheels, 
you're going to change a little bit of your traction action and uh, and get things done. But let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see. Let's run through some of these camera settings. Ah, here you go. Now, the Spin Tires camera versus Mud Runner is outstanding. You just I'm clicking one button and it is pacing me around. So driving from the front sometimes is very useful, but very difficult because you know you're kind of driving in reverse. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to get behind my truck and go down that blind alley that we went down with the other rig. So, oh, okay. Now I didn't shift into reverse. Then I just pressed and held the uh, the brake pedal, and it will automatically throw you in reverse like that. But I don't have reverse one, two, and three, or reverse low. Rev. Rev, rev low one, rev low two, whatever. Okay, now in automatic, I got, I got, I got. Oh, okay. I, I spun my tires. Yeah, I spin my tires. But I got, I got the passenger front spinning, and I've got oh nothing spinning in the rear. That's amazing. So what I would want to do here is probably shift into uh, hit, hit the parking brake, shift into low three, and. Now I can turn on diff locks. Except I'm running into a tree trunk. An immovable object. Oh, and when I'm in when I'm in manually shifted into three low, I have to manually shift into reverse. The the, the brake pedal reverse doesn't work when you're in low gears, only when you're in automatic. Ah! Well, that makes sense now, doesn't it? Okay. So, we're in three low, therefore we have diff lock. How to get started in spin tires? Just do shit. <laughs> Alright, so, that's too slow for my taste. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this into... Mm, Okay, I can't do that. I gotta get rolling first, and then I can hit high gear. Alright, I think I'm going fast enough. I should be able to throw in high. Oh, this... Uh, high gear just makes the tires spin. <laughs> I'm not going any faster. That's hilarious. Alright, well, hey. You know, fuck around and find out. That was funny. But this is a bone stock map. You're going to find that, you know, well, let's go ahead and, uh, and hit F1, open up the map, take a look. Okay, we aren't anywhere near unlocking something interesting. Aha! Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and go here. So, if you go to the map by pressing F1, you can zoom in and zoom out with the mouse. And then you can also click uh, on the map, and you're going to find this weird... And hit F1 again, and now I'm in automatic, so all I'm doing is pressing the, uh, the, the reverse or brake pedal, and the truck backs up. But I'm also using wheels, so that'll be unique and different if you're using a keyboard or a gamepad. So just I, everybody knows this about gaming, right? Especially if you're a game racer and you have a wheel, then uh, you know I wouldn't say go out and buy a wheel to play this game. The keyboard works great. You can have fun, especially for two dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's the red path that brought us down a freaking blind alley. So we're gonna try to sneak our way through the woods and get around this tree and go to this other trail. Okay, and now mm, let's. let's use our camera to uh, find different visible points. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah! I like the loose roly-poly rocks. Uh, properly used. There's mushrooms up on the hill. Check that out. Okay, so... It's an odd combination of rocks and mushrooms and different colored rocks. 
Um, but I'm going to hit F1 again and say, oh, okay. Yeah, we did get off this main road. We got off in, in here, and we're in this little rock garden. So let's go this way. And I really don't like using... Oops. F1. F1 opens a map, and then left-click your way to f uh, create this red floating trail marker so that you can get where you're going without constantly reverting to the map. It's ugly if you're streaming or making a video or making screenshots. I don't think it shows up in screenshots. It might. Don't hold me to that. Alright, so I just generally, you know, click it a couple times to give myself a general sense of direction of where I want to go. So right now, you know, I'm kind of like looking across. Let's get rid of it. I'm at a dead end. So in order to get there, I probably need to go like that. And honestly, it doesn't look like it's a intended um, area for me to cross. If you notice, in spin tires, a couple different things here. On spin tires, the map, you can see this little gray area where my mouse is, or down here at the, at the tip of the river. There's enough sedimentary deposit that you can cross the river because it's, it's a low point. The river's, you know, running down here. This little area around the island is kind of like dry sand, but it's, or damp sand, but it's, it's very shallow. And then you got deep, deep water, then you got an area to cross. So we're way up here, and if we get to the coast, we should be able to drive up. Ah, oh, come on. There you go. We should be able to drive up to this point and get across. Get get across on that little sandbar. See that little sandbar that's uh, I'm stretching across. Okay, there it is. Now, what I just also did was I couldn't because this distance 84 okay thing is in the way. I wasn't able to, you know, put another marker where where the OK button is, or the whole str uh, path marker goes away. So, what you do is you grab the, the little uh, the little dot, and you can move it around. So once I get here, I'm probably going to crawl down the beach to get to this spot. So, uh, let's go ahead and hit F1, get back into the game, and yeah, I can squeeze through the trees quite easily. Oh, honestly, the water doesn't look that deep to begin with. Okay, so here we have a really shallow area, but up here we have a sandbar. And we know that we're not going to get buried. There's some raging rivers, dude. Uh, you will be crossing raging rivers. And it looks like there's some tire tracks going in. Oh, oh, that's pretty deep. We do have a snorkel, though. Otherwise, that would have flooded out and buried in any normal truck, right? Cool. So even a stock map, you know, is showing us a pretty decent challenge in this little rig. Oh, I said I was gonna crawl down the, crawl down the, uh, the bank. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can do that try to stay out of the water as much as possible, keeping two wheels up on the bank. It's not a real steep bank. I'm no risk of rolling over. Uh, that potential totally exists, though, if I don't do this correctly. So now I'm going to get up into this area that looked like it was really shallow. This little uh, part around that goes around the island. And that'll let me get up onto uh, some dry land should anyway. Alright, so the water is, seems to be a lot shallower here than it was, oh wow, uh, at the river crossing. And now we are climbing out of the water! What did ninjas drink? Water! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where the hell did that come from, right? Alright, so I just hit pause because I want to show you, you know, what comes next, okay? And honestly, uh, probably not much. We're just going to park it here, throw it in park, get rid of the diff locks. Um, uh, oh, this this rig is actually one that can run with diff locks on in, in automatic. 
So some rigs are diff locks are on all times at all times. Like most of the Hummers, uh, Humvees are going to be diff locks on all time, and uh, a lot of other trucks will be diff lock is only available when you are in low one, low two, or low three. Um, quite often you will find there, but but on the other hand, blah, 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 there are other trucks that can run diff locks at all times, and it's an option to turn it on or turn it off. Okay, so if you're playing kind of like with a simulation mindset and you want to play in as realistic mode as possible, you can. And in that case, I suggest playing the game on hardcore instead of casual, like I'm doing. Um, so now let's see. What more can I tell you about this? Um, that's pretty much it for now on, on this map. Oh, you know what I was wanting to do? is uh, let's, let's just bomb our way over to here. And, uh, let's see, give her the parking brake, and get the camera going to a proper place. Really? That little tree. Look at that, that little tree. That little tree has us hung up. <laughs> it's really tough picking your way through the woods and, and blazing your own trail, but uh, it shouldn't be this hard with little twigs. Okay, but, you know what? I can do it, man. I'm up for the challenge. I can't remember what the words they say uh, while sword fighting, but I'm sitting here dodging dodging trees like uh, dodge, parry, uh, on guard! Yeah. Oh, now I'm crushing little baby trees. Until I hit that one. Okay. Man. Blazing a trail. Boom. I thought that tree was going to stop us. Ah, we, we plowed it down. I'm a lumberjack, and that's okay. Okay, so now here we are. I would suggest throwing in the parking brake, hitting F1, taking a peek. What is this thing? A log kiosk. Okay, so, hover. Available goods is lumber, lumber, and more lumber. So, uh, three logs, six logs, uh, wait, one, one red dot, two red dots, or three red dots. Um, man, I really just wanted to blow over to the, the darkness and unlock an area, but they're giving us an opportunity to take a look at part of the game mechanics, right? So here is a logging area. Shit, really? I'm feathering the throttle. Okay, so here's a, a logging area. And I don't know why the... Uh, I guess if, if we came over here and we were in a... Uh, Oh, okay, there's a bunch of recently felled trees. And, <clears throat> oh, okay, there's three piles of logs for us to gather at this location if we had brought the big boy. I guess, I think, I don't know. So let me try to, um, uh, let's see, not V, F, V, yeah, okay, V. Let's let's just drag my ass out of here real quick because I don't want to have to uh, to wheel this through the stumps. Oh yeah, let's turn off parking brake. Uh, we got to get out of advanced mode. There we go. Now I I can winch and drive at the same time. I don't want to hit these stumps, but every once in a while I hit one and it brings me to a dead stop. So I'm just gonna winch my ass out of here. Okay, and now. Use your mouse and click the X to get rid of the winch. And I guess I should probably explain winching. Okay, so you press V to go into advanced mode. And you notice these little white dots appear on the vehicle. The dot in the front is dimmed out or gray because we were behind it. Now, the front dot, our winch attachment point, is white. And the two in the back are gray. 
rotate back around here and we can, so we can winch our vehicle forward or backward and what we're going to do is we're going to click that front winch point and we're going to click another tree up here and then I'm going to hit V to get out of advanced mode and press F to winch myself I'm not pressing the gas I am steering the wheel and I'm just dragging myself along I don't have the parking brake set but if I did that bam look at my rear tires are dragging they're locked up now I'm going to release the parking brake and the rear tires are wheeling okay so there's a quick lesson on winching when you're done and you don't need the winch anymore you click the X it, it gets really tricky and you have to use this camera and uh, maneuver it all around zoom it in and out go over to the side dive down then lift up and you know it's like flying it's like flying a drone um, so anyway here's available goods um, I don't have a vehicle that can uh, carry them oh it's different lengths of lumber so if you come over here a little with a little beginner truck before you go to the other locations like when we unlock this black stuff we're gonna have big old trucks that can carry 16 foot logs instead of these little bitty 8 footers 12 footers and, and 8, eight footers so okay like I said I don't play the game uh, logging style but um, now I get it it's got short logs medium-sized logs or really long logs and you need different trucks to carry these different types of materials all right so I'm gonna hit that um, and we're gonna be looking to oh, head that direction um, and really my only goal is to take you off into the blackness of this map and show you how it unlocks and then you're on your own we're gonna we're gonna jump out and install custom maps and I'll show you how to do that real quick so that you uh, I want to give you a full well-rounded experience in spin tires except I'm not a logger so uh, maybe Mudrunner Maniac can cover some of that if you like him uh, check him out on YouTube um, he does some of this kind of logging stuff in the end game rescue missions because um, you know like sometimes it, you're not really just driving to pick up a load of logs and take them to a lumber mill uh, or pick up lumber and take it to a rail yard maybe that's only a snow runner like I said I don't really play the game as it's intended I, I just want to fucking go four wheeling man so now we've unlocked um, oh we've only locked a little tiny piece oh until we get to the uh, until we get to the actual building oh, once we get to that building it should magically boom instead of just a skinny little trail we have uh, lit up or exposed on the map if we get to this building up ahead it will blossom into right so right now it's only showing us this stupid little uh, it's only showing us we've only revealed the, the 16 foot wide area that we've uh, we've come to or we've driven through and we're not even on the trail anyway dudes I'm telling you if you're a noob and you have a crappy PC and you want to do something fun this is just it's beautiful scenery right um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna show you how to install reshade in another um, episode or maybe this one who knows and that that allows you to turn on some incredible visual effects you can have the sunshine sunrise sunsets that are just wow beautiful game like if, if when I'm when I'm not in the mood to play Counter Strike and go shoot people in Call of Duty or something, I want to chill out and drive around and enjoy um, four wheeling, man. I lived in Alaska and it's the kind of life that. Uh, well, okay, <laughs> I wasn't a logger. I was a carpenter. <laughs> I spent a lot of my time in Anchorage rather than uh, the tundra, but but I did fly out to the boonies and build a. Uh, Christian summer camp. Um, all right, now uh, I seem to have lost my way, so I'm gonna pull this. Oh no! All right. Well, we're gonna have to backtrack too busy talking. Yeah, I know. that was a joke to some of my friends. I love this little Suzuki man, I'm telling you. It's 
crazy. I love that button. I love this spin tires camera. You press it, and it just basically goes all the way around the vehicle until you get into that perfect angle uh, like I needed to be to the rear right of the vehicle to get around this section. Rather than the left, or the front, or the right front. And here we are. Once I light this up, see that little black ring? Mm, come on, you can do it, little Suzuki. I know you can. Don't make me winch. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to winch, damn it. So what I'm going to do... Oh, okay. I just powered it into reverse, but I'm going to drop down into, uh, oops, three low. Yep, a little, little less wheel spin. Even, I, I couldn't even get that low of a wheel spin with throttle modulation. And I have a gas pedal. You know, like, like the wheels are barely turning. I'm at about uh, an eighth of a throttle right now. Quarter, three-eighths and a half. Boom, now I'm full throttle. So, I'm also in three low. It's hilarious. I get this close, and I get stuck in the most ridiculous area. Pretty funny to me. Okay, I'm going to throw this in reverse. Back up to where I can climb onto something solid. I'm going straight into... Automatic transmission. Ha! Can't get there. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. How can this little truck be so stubborn? <laughs> or that piece of dirt be so stubborn as to not let me creep my way into this circle? Uh, they, they made... Uh, what do you call it? Quicksand booby traps. All right, cloaking removed. I just saw that light up. Ta ding Suddenly, when we hit that building, it it erupted and exposed this entire area instead of just the path we took to get here. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, that, you know, and that's 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 more or less mud crawling and a stock map that came with the game. All right, so what I'm going to do is go back to the main menu. Exit the main menu, you'll be able to continue the game. Okay, sure. I got a couple of Suzukis here. I've unlocked one one spot. I may not remember this next time I come in here to play, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at my settings again. Everything everything is still in place. I don't know why this guy never stays. Um, but, bam. And then I'm going to exit the game. All right, now we're back in Steam. I was showing you how to install trucks. Um, now I'm going to show you how to install install maps for spin tires. And that is kind of a... It's something that, uh, just like the, the truck where you can go to, you know... Oh shit, it says I'm in Mudrunner. Oh, I'm in Mudrunner Workshop. Duh, my bad. I'm supposed to be in Spin Tire Workshop. Okay. Oh, you know what? When I when I searched for spun, it probably took me out. Oh yeah, look at that. It it took me out. Um, and then when I clicked spun's name and looked at all the things that he's created, I clicked on one of them, which was like spun's made a lot of stuff for spin tires and mud runner. I don't know if he's actually made stuff for snow runner, but. Um, Anyway, um, let's go back to Spin Tires Workshop, and just let, so you so you can see that that's all you get. You get trucks, trailers, add-ons, or wheels. Okay, add-ons are things like you know uh, custom trucks. Okay, um, and there's lots and lots of pages of custom stuff. <laughs> like, why would you drive this truck around or this car around in this game? I don't know why, but. Uh, all right, so now we're going to jump into looking at, um, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and show you, oh crap, in Mudrunner, you can go to the workshop, 
I don't have motor owner installed on this machine, but we can go here and then look at levels. And you can see now, this is the easy way in Steam Workshop, you can grab Mudrunner. Now, I don't think I showed you that Mudrunner is only $4.20. Spin Tires is $2.29. And they're about equal in the requirement of graphic capability. So you don't need a powerhouse PC to run them. But I find some great vehicles in Spin Tires that don't exist in Mudrunner. So, also some great maps that exist in Spin Tires that never went forward into Mud Runner. So, my favorite map and truck combo in Spin Tires, I cannot play in Mud Runner. Sometimes, maps and trucks have been moved forward by the creator from Spin Tires into Mud Runner. But you can get Mud Runner for $4.20. Spin Tires is $2.29. But Spin Tires gives you the simplicity of installing maps through the Steam Workshop and downloading custom trucks and subscribing to them. So if, a, if the map creator updates the uh, map because there's a super slippery section that has he, he forgot to modify the, the grip, whatever, tension, uh, <laughs> texture, um, you know, he, he might update and increase or improve that map, and you'll, you, Steam Workshop will just automatically download any updates when the creator updates the maps. Or the, Basically, if you buy a motor runner, same things, same principles apply up to this point. Buy the game here. Uh, get the CD key in, in email. Go to Steam. Add it to your Steam library through that... Oh, I showed you already, right? Um, do a quick reminder, okay? You go to your Steam library. No, wait. Games, up at the top. Games. Activate a product on Steam. Click Next. Agree to the terms of service. Paste in the code. Click Next. And it will say, hey, this new game has been added to your library. And then you install it. Which I need to install uh, Mudrunner because I had it moved down to a different PC. So once you get your your runner code, that's all you do. You click install and then finish and now it's downloading 1.35 gigabytes and then it's going to download all the freaking fracking vehicles that I'm subscribed to, um, your file subscribed items. All right, so I've got a ton of maps and trucks that I have subscribed to in Mudrunner. Now, my Mudrunner installation becomes huge. And this download is probably going to be pretty fat. You know, initially, uh, really, it's a still only 1.4 gigs. It may not include the mods. Um, once you include the mods, it's probably going to be a lot more. So, anyway, um, that's that's the beauty of Mudrunner, is that you can just get maps and trucks through Steam Workshop. However, like I said, Spin tires is half the price. Ooh, big difference between two dollars and four dollars. I know. They both run on equal hardware, um, for the most part. And you know, even even my crappy old uh, Linux laptop from what is it, uh, Intel Core 2 Duo, could run spin tires. Um, so you know, I had a whatever Intel graphics chip that was like really weak and lame. Something with three digits, like a 790 or a 420 or God knows what. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about um, if you get, you know, since Spin Tires doesn't have Steam Workshop maps in Steam Workshop, let's go ahead and look at that. Okay, so you right click on Spin Tires and you click Properties and you get to this screen, Local Files. And you want to browse Local Files. Okay, I've already got that opened, so here it is. Um, if you see in this path, this PC on my 6 terabyte Western Digital Black, I have a Steam folder, right, and then Steam Apps, Common, and Spin Tires. So that is where Steam installs this Spin Tires game to. In the Spin Tires game installation, there is a folder called Media. In media, there is nothing. I had to click new folder and create a folder called levels. Now, 
you could do it a couple different ways depending on what kind of zip you get and that's the tricky part here okay so here's a bunch of um, file or here here's some files that I downloaded into my data game stuff spin tires right I, I don't download things into my documents or my downloads or my pictures and my videos. I don't use any that's built in Windows. Hey, all, all your crap goes in this container. No, I put all my shit on a backup drive or on a drive that I can, you know, duplicate and back up. So I have two copies of this um, Western six terabyte Western Digital Black One and Black Two. So I have two drives. I mirror them and I have a backup. If this thing takes a poop, um, I would only lose like a week or two because I only back up eh, every week or two, depending on how much I've been banging on the beat, on, on the box. Um, so anyway, you notice that I have um, a folder here called Levels on my data drive where I save my stuff. Your machine is probably going to you know, prompt you to save stuff in Windows Downloads folder for the user, especially you know, if you have a family and you're in a multi-user environment and you log on with different profiles, yeah, but I would use... Um, a lot of us aren't aren't, aren't going to have to deal with that. It's 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 a shared PC with one identity. So I download stuff into a data drive where I can save it forever. I can back it up, and I never lose my lose my shit. Um, so here are a bunch of maps that I have downloaded over time, and let's see the Canyonlands. I think is a pretty good example. Uh, he he's got this in something called Level Dash Canyonlands. So you can't just drag this over here because the game is expecting to find its levels inside the levels. So you have to open this and then highlight these guys and drag them into your levels folder. All right. Now, anytime I install something like that, Canyonlands, I move it to the installed folder so that I know I've already got Plans Extreme and I've already got that installed. But, you know, that's just my file management for... Um, For zip files and game game mods. Okay, now here's Evans Creek latest stable, but up here is Evans Creek remake. Let's look at Evans Creek remake. And see, he's got way more than just levels, right? He doesn't just have a DDS and an STG. The file extensions here. He's got unique objects, models. That is a three-dimensional object defined by an XML file in there. He's got plants that's basically going to be the color probably of no that that's probably be an oh classes. Well classes, meshes and textures are unique. Okay, just so here here's different um, objects and or models. Classes are different than models. And then textures are more or less going to be a bunch of DDS um, probably yeah. Okay, so a DDS is um, let's go here and look. I have a DDS viewer open, and it's image to STL, but I am viewing a DDS file that I dragged over here. This is the DDS file that is included in um, the Plans Extreme. And quite interestingly, Plans Extreme, the yellow trails represent a degree of difficulty. They are easier than the brown or in the game they call them red, but they don't really appear red here, do they? It's kind of like a, a, a brown color. So these orange ones, I believe, are the easiest. Uh, that's just a connector trail to get you to a, like easy, medium, and hard. So really interesting the way this guy put together his maps. But what I want to do is show you that <clears throat> I can grab, let's see, let's go to installed. Canyonlands, because it had just a simple DDS, right? So I'll grab this DDS and I'll put it in this folder temporarily. And then I will go here and I'll go back a page uh, and go back down to this, and it says upload a file. So now I'll take that DDS file I just unloaded and, and drop it in here, and this image viewer is going to unravel that DDS image which is kind of like taking a JPEG and turning it into a zip file. 
uh, I mean, it compresses things. So you can see that this is a very different looking map than what Plans Extreme um, image looked like, right? But these little brown and green dots represent probably rocks and trees and then sand and then water and then he's just got trails but he didn't color code the trails like ah this one's easy this one's hard etc so you can see that you know whatever we've got delivered to us from canyon lands is very different than plans extreme now i already showed you how to unzip one but let's do it again just for the sake of doing it um, and let's do one of the difficult ones, okay? And that's going to be probably the Evans Creek remake. Media, and then these. Now, let's look at the... Yep, okay, this looks pretty good. Um, as far as a difficult install or a... Well, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... Oh, sorry, I have to sneeze. Oh, yeah, real life. Streaming live. Um, all right, so uh, a more complex map, okay? So the, the maps that are nothing more than a uh, DDS and an STG, um, you know, they, they rely on stock components that were already in the game. When you get something that has different classes, meshes, and textures, these are... 3D objects that were created outside of the game, and they're going to be imported and used by the game according to specific requirements for the game's ability to display these objects. <laughs> okay. You notice levels, underscore, and levels, uh, capital? Not a big deal. But because I already have a folder called levels, when I copy now, if we look at steam apps and this we're, we're going to notice that um <clears throat> let me see i think i thought i thought i had our th oh yeah then i got the zip file open okay so we've already seen how to take a simple map that is nothing more than um uh, let's see nope nope that's a complex map also he's got custom objects custom rocks and that's great missouri trails oh um, okay, that's a super simple one, so we can just, you know, highlight that, drag it over and drop it into levels, then we can close the zip, and my process is to remove this from the general folder where I've downloaded things and put it into the levels installed folder, and now I know that's already in the game. But what I want to do here is show you that the media folder, if I go up, this guy, you know, has got it structured he, he 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 labeled this folder on his local computer evans creek remake evans creek 2017 and then he created a media folder and he put these things in it in the levels is a dds and an stg however that map will not work if we don't also bring the meshes which has a subfolder of models which is a bunch of rocks that did not come in the game initially you're not using stock objects right so what you want to do is you open up let's see this is evans creek remake mf um there it is okay gonna it's a it's a dot seven z dude if you're not hip enough to understand dot seven z is seven zip dot rar is win rar um, dot zip is win zip nine times out of ten all three of those different programs can open these different compression format um, uh, files. So don't sweat it. If you, you know, 7Z, just do a Google search. You'll find 7-Zip, um, the, the number 7, Z-I-B, 7-Zip. I like it. It can open RARs and ZIPs and 7Zs, and it has a higher compression ratio if you're zipping something to send to somebody. So I like 7-Zip. Um, and it's open source. It's free. WinRAR is always trying to sell it themselves to you, and that's fine. WinZip, same thing. That's why I like 7-Zip. It's just, just, just leave me alone and let me fucking do my thing. All right, so you have your choice here. You can either go up to Spin Tires, and you can see this media folder, and you can drag the whole media folder in here and go boom, 
and boom. And it's going to go, oh my god, media already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? And then it's going to say, oh my god, textures already exist. exist. Uh, well, in our case right now, textures does not exist. <laughs> Neither do mesh and classes. But after we install this guy, all of the other maps we install that have custom objects are going to um, have unique texture mesh and classes folders and of course levels so it's going to always be saying oh do you really want to overwrite this so let's just watch and see what happens it's not going to care about texture mesh or classes but it's going to bounce it's going to tell me that uh oh do you really want to overwrite the levels folder there you go destination already contains a folder called levels so i'm going to say yes boom there you go all right so it should be as simple as that. That's that's the best, simplest. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was pretty much uh, interrupted by sneezing, but uh, it's a pretty straightforward way to install custom maps, right? Now let's go see if anything works. And that's always the uh, the key. <laughs> now, what was the one? Evans. Oh crap! You know what I didn't do? I didn't move the Evans Creek Remake MF to the installed folder after I closed the zip. However, if we look here, we can see Evans Creek. And if we go to our Steam folder and look in Levels, we can see Evans Creek. Evans Creek DDS. If we open up that, drill in, media, levels, bada bing, DDS, STG. If we go to Meshes, and then we go look in the zip file, and we look in the Meshes, uh, models and models, bada bing, bada boom, everything matches. Well, okay, it's not equal match, everything's good to go. The game's already running, let's bounce in. Hey, you know, maybe you're not this kind of a picky gamer? I don't know what to call it, what I'm talking about. So, there you go. Plans, extreme. Canyonlands, Evans Creek. Level Missouri Trails, level underscore Evans Creek, level underscore Plans Extreme, level underscore Canyonlands. Those are custom user created maps. Now, Plans Extreme is a really cool map. That's the one that I was telling you has the different color, like, you know, a um, uh, different color on, on the map indicates the difficulty level. And, and and that's also why I'm telling you, I don't think Plans Extreme ever came forward to Mudrunner. So for $2.29, you get to drive this map. I guarantee you'll spend more than two hours on this freaking map. And you get a bunch of trucks for free and spin tires, right? So $2.20, just this one map is probably going to make it worth it to you. It, it, it does for me. So let's go back in here, though, and look at... Uh, uh, what was it? Evans Creek it was the one that we did. This is the map that we installed that had the um, multiple folders where we had classes and meshes and objects or textures or whatever. Um, so just for the sake sake confirming that it works, I'm going to go ahead and grab my camo um, Suzuki and launch it. And here we are. Oh, it says press F1 to learn how to play? No. <laughs> F F1 is... Uh... Oh, oh, we're getting a little stutter. So, uh, have I been here before? Or this is just where you start <laughs> on this map? That's kind of weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, so let's uh, start the engine. Oh, hit the gas. Going to all-wheel drive. Get over here. Ka-tunk. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, he's got a very small garage. But he allows a bunch of vehicles. So the vehicles will all be lined up over here. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go back. Main menu. Um, yeah, I really don't want to. Replay the same game. That's... Why I'm not going to click continue, I'm going to click connect or click start new game. And I'm going to pick a multitude of trucks. Bam, that's one. I'm going all Suzuki today, in case you haven't figured it out. Um, I 
I, I go all Suzuki sometimes. Anyway. All right, so the Sammy Crawler in gray. <clears throat> Eventually, I'm going to get to running these things, and I'm going to try to find out, is there any difference between the Sammy Crawler in gray or the Sammy Crawler in black? Because there's a Sammy Crawler in black. So let's get back down there. And then we have the Sammy Crawler or Samurai light gray or the Samurai red. I like the light gray one. And then we're going to cruise down to the... Oh, wait, we missed the Breggles. And what's wonderful about spin tires is they alphabetize the freaking name of the Jeep or the vehicles. In Mud Runner, nothing is ever in alphabetical order. And a lot of people, you know, will preface their creation with their name. So the Spun XJ, Spun uh, Dark Side, I... I'm just making things up. Spun F40. So if you know that's cool because if you want to drive something and you know Spun is one of your favorite creators, you scroll down to S. But in in Mud Runner, <laughs> good luck finding you know it depends. The games are listed in the order you installed them. So if you want all your Spun trucks to be grouped together, unsubscribe, restart Steam go resubscribe to spun, 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 spun. And you might get them to show up in in uh, in order. Don't, what's the word? Quote me on that. Yeah, don't quote me on that. All right, so now here we got the that little white and red samurai. And then there's another white and red samurai further down. Ah, no, I'm sorry. It's it's the sidekick. So in this case, let's go with a sidekick to make that maroon. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six trucks and remember, I'm not going to cl click continue because that will continue my game with that one 1995 Suzuki Samurai in camo. I'm going to start a new game so it brings forward or brings all six of these Suzukis into the game. Boom. And remember, this was also uh, the game that we we did. Uh, let's see. To learn how to play spin tires, press help in game menu. Escape. Okay. So if I do that and then I click help, it shows up all that stuff. All right, cool. So if you're ever hurting and you don't remember how to do something, there, there's a way for you to turn that on. All right, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. It allows a whole bunch of rigs in the game, right? And let me see. Can I get can I get up higher? No. I can't get these. Uh... There we go. I'm trying to get the. Stop, 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 stop. Trying to get there. There it is. There it is. Oh, my mouse rotated. Oh. I was trying to. I was trying to get a. <laughs> I was focusing so hard on trying to get a freaking screenshot. All right, so you can see that there are two garage or two vehicles in the garage parking lot, and that's why these other vehicles spawned across the river. But you want to get them all into that little garage spot to refuel them before you take off, and that's also when you're going to see your um, customization lights uh, or window light up. Okay, so I'm here. And I'm going to go ahead and click, I, I press V to bring up the advanced menu, and I'm going to change truck, jump over into the Sammy Crawler, and the only thing it has are different tires. I don't want Bajas, though. This is not a Baja sand crawling map. All right, so you know what? I'm thinking I don't even want that particular truck, so I'm going to press V again to open up, see how the, V, v brings up the change truck in the lower left, and then I'm going to jump into this black sandy. And there are no add-ons available for this truck whatsoever. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, and do it. Okay, I'm already here. This is only the garage, though. It only gives me a chance to add parts, not gas. So I'm going to hit F1. I do not see, oh my god, any fuel station anywhere. All right, so if you don't have, uh, if you don't have dev tools, you're screwed. <laughs> 
and I can't get DevTools to work. Now, DevTools, let, that, that's a whole other subject. And I, I didn't want to bring them up because I can't get them to work with spin tires anymore. They used to work for me. I uninstalled spin tires and tried to get a clean, a clean start um, to make videos with on a different PC. And, uh, yeah, I haven't been able to get spin tires mod to work with spin tires. It works with spin tires mud runner, and it works with spin tires uh, snow runner. Spin tires mod, snow runner, spin tires mod, mud runner, both of those will launch, and, and they're effective. This one, I can't make work. Anyway, oh boy, look at this map. Becky, look at... Mm. Alright, so, we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to drive around. Delivered 4-4. Four, four. Call, call for a rescue. Alright, well, screw it. Well, screw it. We're gonna have to do it. I'm singing a White Stripes song. Can't remember the name of it, but... Alright, so... Even with diff lock, I'm not getting anywhere with this hill. Okay, automatic is not getting me there. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to a three. I'm going to go to two low. So even at full throttle, I can't spin the tires that hard. And yet... <laughs> I'm stuck as a pig and shit. Unreal. Oh, shit. How, how, why, why did that bounce out, man? Oh, you know what? Oh, well. I wanted to, uh, to try something else, but... <clears throat> I'm just gonna get... I'm just gonna keep going here. I'm gonna shift into reverse. I find it so hard to believe that this little truck can't it can't get out of this. It's crazy. The mud is that freaking soft here. It's quicksand, dude. I'm buried up to my pumpkin. Okay, I gotta have a a truck here with uh, bigger, floatier tires. Or maybe I can get far enough backed up that I can actually get to the garage and change the damn tires. Come on, man. Unbelievable. Oh, no, there's no exchangeable parts on this vehicle. Okay, so you're done. Press V. Stop engine. Change truck. You know, I don't really want to go in the crawler because it doesn't seem to have freaking badass tires. Um, Breggles actually does allow you to get bigger tires, so let's do it. Turn off the parking brake, turn on all-wheel drive. Oh, really? I had to turn on diff locks. Are you kidding me? Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Does, can, can the creator set traction differences that affect the vehicles? Like, or maybe his his mud is just so freaking uh, so freaking. I don't know, man. Oh no, I don't want a trailer. It's not nearly as difficult as uh, the last truck. Holy cow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, 
boy. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take a little different angle like this. I think we're going to be able to hook a wheel. Get a little traction on the grass. No, no. Oh, no. Uh oh. Maybe I can climb up the right side, or the left side over here. Uh, more rocks in it. Maybe some tree roots. Oh. So close. Oh, look at that throttle modulation. Just enough. Just enough. Come on. Just enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that gas pedal. Whew. What the hell did we come up to up here for? <laughs> and we saw a trail and we hit it. Oh, I'm an automatic. I'm not in three low. Uh, okay. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look around. Maybe that's the beauty of the spin tires camera. Just push a button and it goes to the next uh, slot. Yeah, I know it's circular and you gotta blow through a couple of different uh, perspectives to get to the one you want, but yeah, I like this. Oh my god, look at this game. Alright, well, uh, you know, I'm running 60 FPS and I think I, I think I have the setting turned off here. The, yeah, don't limit me to 60, but that's that's the hertz of my monitor, and maybe the game is going to tune to... That's that's all I get. But, I remember, I thought I played this with hundreds of frames per second, but, uh, honestly, it doesn't look bad, does it? Yeah, it runs smooth as butter. It's another game. I'm just going to keep reeling. All right, so we've been through a whole lot today, and it's been a long stream and a long video. So um, let's see, what can we do? Oops, well we can not drive into the into the edge of the trail, but my God, this rig just looks so awesome. And I haven't even installed Reshade, and honestly, I'm thinking, why bother? The game looks good enough. I'm pretty freaking happy with it. It is. Okay, so now I can also hit the uh, first person view. And then when I get out of there, it takes me to the side view. But then, um, let's see, I have the orbital view. And then you move your mouse around a little bit. And when you click, it stays locked in that position. It's remarkable that I just got stuck in the ditch right here, isn't it? Okay, so Evans Creek is like uh, some of the most quicksand mud I've ever experienced in the world. Not cool, dude. So squishy, and look at how fucking low down my tires are. Let's see, let me get behind the vehicle. This is going to be tough to make any kind of distance. Holy crap. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. I'm freaking sinking, like, just sitting still. The vehicle was just, like, I was in, it was like I was in quicksand. So, wow. You really, you, uh, you really have to run slow. Uh, the minute you fucking step on the gas, you're going to be burning going to be just burying tires into the dirt. And I just saw a trail I missed. It went into the water. But I wanted to stay, stay on a little dry land for a minute. Oh, man, this, this looks like a quad trail. Oh, man, I wouldn't be surprised if we hit a, hit a dirt biker here. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and cross Evans Creek. 
this may not be Evans Creek proper you know, tributaries, but uh, you know. Really? Look at that. We can't even get out of the freaking water. You can't have any kind of wheel spin. The, the, the guy must have been... The guy who made the map must have been running it in uh, one low, or, you know, too low the entire freaking time. Holy cow. Automatic transmission is not allowed. Oh, oh, look at that. It looks like a trail to me. That looks like a split trail to me. Shit. Okay, but now, see, isn't that weird? Oh! Oh! We get off the road, which is mush, and we get onto a little trail. It's freaking hard back. That's crazy. Okay. I am not liking what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm backed into a tree. Trees to the left of me. Jokers to the back. Here I am, stuck in the stuck in the woods with this Suzuki. All right, I think we're gonna be fine. Ah. there it is. Come on, get out of there. Well, I'm not going on that trail. To. I'm gonna bust out a winch to get over these tree stumps. And guess what? I'm doing that right now. Oh, there's nothing to attach to? Are you kidding me? Just that? Wow, that's lame. Oh! That's pretty rough. Okay, let's cut ourselves loose here. Back up a little bit. Get turned that way. Oh! I'm hung up on a log, or on a stump. Yep. Gonna have to winch. Something like that. Oh man, it won't frickin' do it. Huh. Yeah, really pulleys. Rocks that roll downhill. Loose rocks are tough, man. But hey, isn't that what we're here for? <coughs> Overcoming the challenges. usually to get up onto the top of the mountain so you can take a picture or smoke, drink, and party. Camp. Alright, so at least we got this going for us, right? Look at that. What a game. And that's only one truck, dude. I got six trucks here. <laughs> okay, I should have I should have geared down. This game does not like does not like you me spinning tires. So let's go down to a three low. Oops. I got a buddy who runs this game uh, in too low all the time kind of excruciating. He gets he gets over a lot of obstacles, but in between the obstacles, it takes him forever to get to the next obstacle. I'm going to use some of this grass trying for some traction. Holy crap. Really? Really? No! No! That's it. Game over. We don't have... Um, can't get fucking dev tools to work. 
So, oh, hey, Soul Piper, dude. What's up? Sorry, I was just about to sign off. And yes, I was talking about you, the guy who rolls in second gear all the time. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by the stream. But now that I've turned upside down, uh, it's been a pretty lengthy video. I was gave a full overview of spin tires. So I can pump that over to YouTube and people can make a decision for themselves whether they want to spend $2.29 on this wonderful, wonderful game. So, sorry, uh, you know, you didn't drop in earlier or that I turned over right now, but maybe we can go play multiplayer. You want to do that? If you're listening in stream, yay. If not, I'll hit you up on Discord. Uh, to the people watching the stream... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy, you know, spin tires. If you pick it up, it's it's the bomb, dude. It's dirt cheap, uh, tons of mods, um, easy to install maps. Um, you know, I have had a couple of weird hiccups with the game, uh, like not being able to get dev tools to work for whatever reason. It has always worked for me historically. Uh, dev tools are also known as spin tires mod. Um, but I'm going to keep jacking around and, and try to get that straightened out. Or just leave it alone and try to make more Spin Tires videos. If anybody wants to see more Spin Tires videos, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment on YouTube. And uh, until the next stream or next video, Game Brain is gone.